So welcome back to the channel, gorgeous ones. As it's the end of the year, this is a great opportunity to give you some of my favorites, products, food, people, items, all kinds of random stuff that have been really important to me in 2016. And because pretty much all of the YouTube bloggers, fitness people, business people are doing this video, I thought, yeah, why not? I'll jump on that bandwagon and um, I'll talk about some of my favorite things. So first thing I'm going to talk about is activewear favorites. Pretty much is gonna be Lululemon, closely followed by Lorna Jane. So they are quite a high-end brand, they're quite expensive, but the tights, the leggings are just like no other. They hold you in, they pull you in, um, they're completely squat proof and I love them. I was going to bring some down here for you to have a look at, but actually mine are all on the air at the moment. And I've just been in to Nottingham and I've been after these for ages. The, the Ivy Park by Beyonce. Well, I don't know if Beyonce actually designed them, but again, these are really, really thick fabric and again, they fit like a dream. So I bought the blue ones today. Gosh, I'm doing a haul. And then these kind of pink camo ones. Very cool. And also in the Abbey Park, I love a gilet. I don't like big, heavy, bulky coats in the winter when I'm driving. So I like to have something like a, a dry fit top and then a gilet. And this one is another Ivy Park sale item. And I love it. And it's like in a, it's like a khaki green. So pretty cool. Looking forward to wearing that. So oops, there's my active wear. <laughs> um, active wear goals. Um, Fine, now something that's changed my life. So if you have been following me for many, many years, you might know that I've been wearing glasses since I was, well, I don't know, early teens, a long, long time. And I've had lots of ups and downs with my eyes. I had laser eye surgery that went wrong um, and completely blacked all this eye and, and did all kinds of things to the eye. It was a horrific, horrific experience. And then a few years later, I had a detached retina which meant uh, to have an emergency operation in both eyes because there were holes in one retina uh, and the other one had completely detached. It was horrific. I was off work for months, um, went into complete meltdown and depression. It was, it was just awful. Couldn't see, uh, couldn't drive, couldn't train. All I could do was walk up and down with a baseball cap on and listen to audio books. Um, so I wear contact lenses and glasses um, pretty much obviously all the time because I can't see anything. I'm like minus seven in this eye and minus four in this eye. Um, but I always find going to the opticians and choosing glasses such an ordeal. I can never choose the right ones. And because my lenses are so specialized, I've got astigmatism as well in this eye, the lenses are always so expensive. Never, you know, it's always four or 500 pounds. And recently I needed some new glasses and I just didn't have time to go to do the whole trying on everything. So I read about Glasses Direct uh, if you're a glasses worker, you will appreciate this. I read about Glasses Direct and ordering your frames online. I thought, okay, let's give it a go. I do everything else online. So a week ago, I ordered from Glasses Direct. Um, I didn't choose a particularly expensive, I didn't choose a designer lens, a designer frame. I didn't choose the most expensive um, lenses. I just went from middle of the road um, and within like 12 hours they called me back, wanted to confirm my prescription, took a few more details. The lady was really helpful. She suggested that the frame I'd originally uh, picked out wasn't the best because my lenses are so thick. So she told me to go to a different part of the website and have a look at those lenses and they're all lovely. I wanted some tortoiseshell ones and um, the whole lenses and frames and everything came to 97 pounds. I've never, ever, ever, and I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Glasses Direct or anything. Anyway, that was less than five days ago. And then this morning, the frames have come, the glasses have come. Here they are. I won't put them on because I can't see, but you can see they're lovely tortoiseshell ones. Um, these weren't the, the thinnest, most expensive lens, and these are still thinner than the Tom Ford lenses that I had before from Vision Express that were like four or 500 pounds, the last ones. And I'm so happy with these. They fit really well. 
they're really nice. Um, and I've had an email from them thanking, thanking me for my business and saying that I can have a free pair of glasses as being a new customer. So I am over the moon with Glasses Direct. The service was fabulous. I'm really pleased. And yeah, I'll be using those. So at the moment, I am over the moon and I can't recommend them highly enough. So that was cool. Uh, something that I can't show you that uh, has, has changed my life this year is Ocado online shopping. Um, <laughs> because I've been trying to eat a lot more organ meat um, and liver, it's really difficult to get organic liver. Uh, and I knew all you could get it from all Ocado. So I ordered it from Ocado and since then I've never stepped foot in a supermarket again. I just order everything online and it just saves so much time, so much effort, so much emotion. Um, the Ocado people just are awesome when they come. They'll even bring your shopping into the house. They don't quite put it away with you, but they are really good. So highly recommend Ocado online shopping. Uh, next favorite is makeup. <laughs> because I train multiple times a day, I always wear foundation. I always have wore foundation since, again, since I was like 13 or 14. And I love Chanel foundation, but it's so expensive, especially when you're having to put it on a couple of times a day. So I found that um, this bourgeois is a complete dupe. Can you see it? It's like, oh, a, a quarter less. I think this is like 40 pounds and this is like seven pounds. Um, and it's just awesome. It's pretty much the same. It's the same consistency, same shade, same everything. So if you like your foundation, I would highly recommend the bourgeois, which is just from Boots and supermarkets, drugstores. Okay, what's next? Oh yes, next products. Oh gosh, here they are. Uh, recently, Tisserand sent me some products to try. Oh my gosh, the hand creams are just phenomenal. And um, all these little essential oils that you can get from Tisserand. Again, absolutely fabulous. You can put some little drops on your pillow and they help you soothe you at night and help you get sleep. Really love that. Um, and pretty much the whole range of Tisserand products are so nice. So definitely check out tisserand.com. Um, we're going to be doing a challenge with them in the new year. So um, do check out. The, the hand creams are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Books. Oh, no. One of the, another beauty product. Again, you know, I'm a massive fake tan fan. And I've been looking for an organic fake tan for so long. And then we found this for all my eternity. Whoa. And this has been all my Christmases come at once. It's so easy to apply. It's not smelly. It's, it's organic. It's a fabulous color. Can't recommend that highly enough. Fab. Favorite books. Oops, I'm going to have to reach you over here as I get the books. Okay. Okay, so uh, favorite book. And it's, I've even written the cover of it because I've enjoyed it so much. This year has got to be number one. Do, 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 do. Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Um, because Jane Nichols and I used to work for Nike in the early 90s, we kind of have affinity to Nike. And um, reading the, uh, it's kind of an autobiography by Phil Knight, how he started Nike. And I just loved every, it was a complete page turn. I took it away when I was working in Turkey. And I loved it so much. Highly, highly recommend that book. I loved it. Um, I do enjoy biographies. And I heard this on, who recommended this? I think this was recommended on Ben Coomber's podcast. I'm sure he did. Um, and I loved it. I really enjoyed it. So it's the Arnold Schwarzenegger Total Recall Autobiography. It's very thick, but it's really good. Really enjoy that. Um, this uh, book, uh, I pretty much read everything by Gabby Bernstein. That's a really good book to dip in and out of. That's always on the side of my kind of bedside table and I dip into that and read it in the morning when I want some boost of positivity. Um, and kind of from more from a work perspective, I heard these two girls on a podcast, Mickey Trescott and Angie Alt, talking about their journey with autoimmune disease. Um, and so I subscribed to their podcast. I love their podcast. Very, very interested in autoimmune disease. And then I got their book, which is here, the Autoimmune Wellness Handbook, and it's just awesome. Their true stories and how they have suffered with autoimmune and how they've come to manage it, it's just a fantastic meal plans, tips, exercise, just really helpful. That's been a massive, massive impact on me personally this year. So if that's of your interest, definitely check it out. 
And again, still on the autoimmune, because I'm obsessed with autoimmune disease at the moment, was um, I watched the Tom O'Brien documentaries about autoimmune disease, and that's The Autoimmune Fix. Again, really, really interesting book. Uh, really enjoyed following Tom O'Brien. Really good book as well. So that's some work stuff. What else was I going to show you? Oh, favorite item. Two favorite items. Um, I got one of these old school Kodak cameras. Um, and it's got the old, you know, where the film comes out. So you take the picture and it comes out. And I love it. Um, I take a picture of everyone that comes to the house. And I've got them all on a pin board. Um, and I took it out with me a couple of weeks ago to my friends. And we gave it to uh, a young girl who was waiting on our table. I think we're in Carluchos. And... Um, <laughs> she'd never seen a camera that actually the film and the picture came out the side so she was like couldn't quite work it out so we were feeling really old when we saw that but uh, a really cool camera I really enjoyed that so grab that so there you go they are my kind of favorites of 2016 so I'd love to know what your favorites of 2016 are let me know um, put them in the link below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, I'm not going to edit this I'm just going to let it all go rough cut and I hope you enjoy it <laughs>